know what I'm trying to do. These fellows that have been harassing you for a year and a half, I think we've got the dope on them once and for all and the conspiracy to riot. Mm -hmm. And if the Attorney General goes along with us, I think we'll expose the Rennie Day Davises, we'll expose the Tatans, we'll expose the Rubens, we'll expose the Shebagans, we'll expose the whole goddamn outfit and that mobilization mm -hmm. for peace in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And we'll also include some of McCarthy's friends. Yeah. And yeah. tell them stuff because if it were, were ever a planned thing on all these incidents affecting you, yeah. and you moved around this country, this is it. Yeah. yeah. And they had the whole thing set for Johnson on Tuesday and Johnson on Wednesday. Yeah. And we got the raw steel, but I think we're coming out. I don't think they're fooling the American people. Well, uh, I uh, I believe that you uh, that there's been a great revulsion in the country as a result of your calling their hand, and I think the country is, is uh, uh, for the first time has seen what the network's been doing and what uh, they did a what good these, job on you. Uh, what these revolutionaries been doing? Now, did you see the? The story yesterday, they're trying to cover it up now, but they violated a bunch of laws. They had hidden microphones in the platform yeah, committee. Our whole town was bugged, including my rooms and everything else. Every, every, everyone well, that's just disgraceful. They ought to indict some folks on that. I told him last night that they ought to do that. I, I don't uh, think there's any doubt but what they should, Mr. I noticed CBS was down in Dallas, and they went to the same uh, post office box that Oswald had. And they rented a box down there, and uh, this goddamn cockeyed crowd, and uh, they wrote a letter to uh, outfit up Chicago trying to get a, a gun, and they were going to prove that uh, that uh, you could uh, mail order guns, what all you could do. And uh, they caught them in that, and they've exposed that now. It hadn't been in the paper. I think it ought to be, but uh, CBS. Uh, uh, there's a conspiracy between the two of them. Well, I think you've got some pinks operating both outfits. I think I think you're right, and I think it's in the whole medium of communication. And I uh, I think they did a savage job on you and an unfair job. They've been doing it for the last year and a half. But if, if, if the Attorney General will only stand up, we will turn up with a conspiracy on all and show and, and reveal it with documentation and with evidence in fact, we don't want to go after anyone on a witch hunt, but gosh darn it, Mr. President, I think these people should be exposed to the entire nation and show what you've been up against for the last year and a half when you go about this country. Organized behind it, Tommy, they tell me that this guy Dillinger talked here on Tuesday and they broadcast it into Miami uh, from Havana on Wednesday. We're trying to get that through the U.S. Information Office. The broadcast. Mm -hmm. Well, this has happened. Now, all of these guys who are leader out here, contrary to the government, were in Hanoi. Now, now uh, by God, if, if this is going to exist in our country, then I'm going to fight the damn thing whether I ever hold office or go out of this. Well, I haven't you had a pretty good reaction out there? We got a terrific reaction. We published a, and I'm going to send you a copy of it, a strategy of confrontation, and we published it last night in which it documents dates going back to November 67, what they said they were going to do to Chicago. Dick, have you got any, have you got any pictures of this crowd that they didn't use that you can show? That yeah, well, here's, here's, here's what they were chanting and here's what they were saying yeah, and, we, and, and, and they wouldn't use them? Isn't an amazing thing, Mr. President? No medium carried a picture when they had them of them lowering the American flag and burning them. And you see what happened there. Some of our fellows that are policemen have sons in Vietnam. Some of them lost their boys. So anyone with any American blood, when he saw that, they went in. And God damn it, I'd stand behind them until the end. And they whacked the hell out of them and raised the, they raised the Viet Cong flag. Our fellows tore it down and raised the American flag. But there wasn't a picture in no place shown. We're going to show that. And in one picture, they turned it police brutality. The policeman was hitting the fellow with a baton, and the fellow hit was biting his leg. He bought a bit of big chunk of flesh out of the poor policeman's leg. The fellow went to the hospital. This was brutality. Another one, a girl and a boy injured, and the father called me up personally. God damn it, Mary. He said, what kind of people we got? Your police saved my daughter and my son from being killed by a window pane that was broken in by these terrorists. 
they weren't in the, they weren't hippies they weren't in this crowd and for them to print pictures that this is another example of police brutality is the most shocking thing to me i've telegrammed i've called them and he said god damn it they better retract it so we've got to think if we just get a little help from from our friend down there and he doesn't get too well he doesn't uh, see this as you and i see it and we just uh, i just worked on him a long time last night until he doesn't I see it the way his daddy would see it no either. not at all not at all